Hi, my name is Aoife and I work in Thurlis Library and I'm here today to tell you a story. So this is a story about three little pigs and a wolf, but it might be slightly different to the story you know. So this is called The Three Hard Pigs and the Big Friendly Wolf and it's written by Liz Pichon and published by Little Tiger Press. So we'll make a start. Once upon a time, Mother Pig lived with her three hard little pigs in a tiny house. The little pigs were very naughty and they drove their mother crazy. I've had enough of you pesky pigs, she told them. It's about time you moved out and found your own way in the world. So she packed up their bags and she sent them on their way. The first horrid little pig came across a big pile of straw. This straw is perfect for me to build my house, he thought. But the little pig was lazy and he didn't make his straw house very strong at all. Luckily, a big friendly wolf, who just happened to be a builder, was passing by. Good grief, gasped the wolf. What a mess that house is. I'll go and see if I can help. Little pig, little pig, may I come in? asked the wolf. Push off, shouted the pig. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin will I let a wolf in. Put one paw on my house and I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll boot you out. I only want to help, said the wolf sadly as he went on his way. But a rude little pig he was. So the second horrid little pig found a huge pile of twigs. These twigs will make a brilliant house for me, he thought. But this little pig was even lazier than his brother, so the house was a disaster. When the friendly wolf saw this terrible tangle of twigs, he thought, goodness me, that house is an accident waiting to happen. I'd better go and see if I can help. Little pig, little pig, may I come in? asked the wolf. Clear off, shouted the rude little pig. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin will I let a wolf in. Put one paw on my house and I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll throw you right out. He really was a rude little pig. I'm sorry, sighed the wolf. I only want to help. The third horrid little pig was so lazy that he couldn't be bothered to build a house at all. So he found a nice cosy chicken shed instead and moved in. The friendly wolf just happened to be passing. Oh my gosh, he thought, those poor chickens. I must go and speak to that pig. Little pig, little pig, may I come in? asked the wolf. Now, this pig is the rudest of all of the pigs. Shove off, shouted the pig rudely. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin will I let a wolf in. Put one paw on my house. And I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll... Hold it right there, said the wolf. This isn't your house. It's the chicken's house. Who cares, said the little pig. Now get lost, the lot of you. What a horrid little pig he was. So, the kind wolf invited all of the chickens back to his house, which was built from bricks and was very strong indeed. Meanwhile, the house built by the first horrid little pig, do you remember what that was built out of? Was, by, was being eaten up by a herd of hungry cows. And the house built by the second horrid little pig was being pulled apart by a flock of angry birds. And the third horrid little pig was being pecked by a cockerel and went wee all the way back to his brothers. Now, none of the pigs had a home, but the wolf did, and it looked very warm and cozy. So the pigs came up with a plan. This house would be perfect for us, said the horrid little pigs. So they waited until dark and they climbed up onto the roof and began to slide down the chimney. The wolf heard the horrid little pigs, so he got out a great big pot of boiling soup. You must be hungry, said the wolf. 
He really was the sweetest, loveliest wolf ever. The friendly wolf let the pigs stay and after a while they stopped being lazy, horrid little pigs and learned how to build a proper house made out of bricks, which was big enough for everyone. And they all lived happily ever after. So we have the pigs living in the house, we have the cows, we have the wolf, we have the chickens and the birds, and we also have, up here taking a bath, we have Mammy Pig, she's living there too. And they all lived happily ever after, the end.